Hi, I am Olaso Komi of Paifa. I count it a big privilege to be making this presentation. And um, before I continue, let me say a big congratulations to Mrs. Didiolu Ade Kogwe, especially on this 10 years anniversary of Teacher is the Future Conference. You know, 10 years is very significant here. Um, some of us just coming up with different programs. Uh, we, this is one particular thing that we look up to. Thank you for being our role model. Um, well, let's keep that aside now quickly and let's jump to why I am here. Um, to take this topic, digitizing your lesson presentations and becoming a star teacher. I mean, these are two activities. I'm going to find a way of merging the two together in my presentation such that at the end of the day, when you know how to present your lesson plans or lesson notes in a digitized form, you will also see how to become a, a star teacher out of these two. Uh, to a very large extent, I have benefited from this and um, I'm going to also be sharing a practical story, a practical experience of how I have done this in my classroom. So join me in the class now, join me as I make my presentation. Thank you. All right, yeah, welcome back to the class now quickly and um, let's look at it now. We are going to be doing two or three things here. We'll look at the overview quickly, uh, the background, the importance and the rest. Then we'll go into the practical session on how to create one, one of the ways of creating uh, a digitized lesson plan or lesson presentation rather. And then we'll look at how, so how to become star teachers with this. So quickly, what does it mean to be a star teacher vis-a-vis -vis digitizing your lesson, your lessons? Now, I'm going to tell a story of uh, my story here. And uh, one of the things that I believe has helped me, you know, when I saw this story, I was like, wow, these two are next 10 years tells my story. Even though, yes, I'm not a computer teacher. I am not into, the, into technology 100%. But I have been able to use technology to my advantage and it has uh, contributed to what has given me one or two achievements I have in this space. Some years ago, some years ago, uh, we were lucky to have a building in my school that had power. You, know, you can imagine a public school. I mean, the typical one, maybe they just give you the building, no power. But this one, we were lucky. We had power there and we had this um, projector lying down for no reason, just lying waste there then i picked it up and i decided to use it in a classroom i discovered that when i used the projector in the classroom my students paid more attention i mean I was, i'm talking about 2014 now my students paid more attention compared to when i would be the uh, only sage on the stage and then just be chunking out knowledge and someone will be distracted this time around they were part of the lesson with me they, they focused, they carried out the activities because they knew they would do it directly on the screen. Then, going forward, in 2018, um, of course, UTME had become fully computer-based. And some students enrolled with me extra lesson so that I could put them through. Of course, I wouldn't want to go the traditional way again because they needed to learn how to use this technology to their own advantage this time around as students. Now, I had just, I think, one or two computers. I brought it. I borrowed from some of my friends. Then I discovered that some of my students would prefer to even leave their class earlier so that they could have access to the um, digital tool. And though they were doing that, by the time the results came out, the students that use ICT, that use computer to practice, performed better than those who were just reading alone on their, on their own. Then at that point, I realized that, no, I think this is what we are supposed to do. So that same year in 2018, um, I put in for Martina Teacher of the Year. And one of the questions I was asked how to do with, okay, how do you teach differently in your classroom? And um, aside from that, I, I put the story already in my in my application form. I also said it. I, I, there's a picture I saw recently where I was pointing to my computer and I was like, yes, this is what this is the software that we use in teaching English language tests of orals and the rest. And uh, of course, using technology there now, I want to mix it together now. I use technology in my classroom and defending it before panel of judges where the best teacher in nigeria was to be selected i had the advantage of doing that and um, today is a testimony and it's a good story that we are all telling now so digitizing your lesson plan is one of those things that can make you a star teacher not just 
to yourself it can it can break ground for you anywhere you are not limited in what you are doing so let's move on from here uh, i'm going to jump this content i've already done that now let's, so let's have an introduction technology is already taking over the world i must say if you're a teacher out there and you are not using technology sincerely you are not fit to be in our classroom now whether your school is giving you technology or not is not even the case here now i never had the opportunity i only had to save my money then to buy my own laptop i never i mean the school never gave me the opportunity to use that yeah we had computers in only for the computer teachers but once you are not in that you are not even expected to even stay in the computer lab in our own case then so but i had to just go out of my way i remember at a particular time i was using my phone as a tool in the classroom because uh, my phone could record sounds um vowel sounds very well and consonant sound so i had to press it and then put it to my students i mean we're doing that one by one of course it's very risky they could snatch my phone and it could drop i mean anything could happen but that was it i wanted to just use technology so if you're a teacher here and you have not been using technology or you are this one that ah you just believe that technology has come to destroy the life of these children no you know that noise now please you are not fit to be in our classroom this is the language of the 21st century these children are digitally wired and you don't need to deny them their the process of growth their process of learning so technology is there now what does it mean to digitize our um lesson our lesson is just creating a digital format a technological format out of it like what i'm doing now i could have just recorded this anyhow there's no way i can even do it without using technology anyway probably if i come physically and i want to believe those who are present today those who have presented before me or that will present after me will have their slides that is technology that is technology for you so and once you use that you are going to have more engaging and interactive class so what are the benefits what are the benefits now when you have your digitized lesson presentation of course i said it now your class will be more engaging and interactive you can do a lot of things and you are going to save time i remember once i used one notes not with my students with a group of teachers we all could draw we had it there we had it open and then on the collaborative space of one note uh different teachers about four different subjects now could ink on that same space at the same time now you can imagine you have your class and then you want three students to compete or to do something on a space or form of canvas now they can ink on it that's what technology can do you can have your lesson plan and write a paragraph of an essay and ask the student to go home and type on that same space if you google docs just share the link with them make them collaborators you will see that they will be able to ink there they can collaborate on a project and then that, i mean the students are, i mean the engagement is unlimited compared to when you are using a traditional classroom when you, uh, the traditional lecture method or teaching method when you need to come physically into the classroom you need to teach them this you need to wait for them imagine all your students need to come to the board to do something compared to those who have tablets in their hand and then as soon as they are doing it the result is showing on it. there are so many technological tools that we can use as i'm saying it and so many are coming to my head and at the end of this presentation there's a link that can show you some things there too there's a link um, that shows a lot of ed tech tools a lot of ed tech tools digitalized lesson presentation can be customized to meet the needs of individual students such that you can have a well differentiated approach where it's not it's not the one we talk with mouth that i divide them into this that with technology individual children can learn at their own pace i i got this lesson a, 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 a program online they had it differently for us those who wanted to learn it by reading we had our option that's what technology can do also those who wanted to watch the video we had our option those who wanted to just see pictures and then use their head i mean we just had different options there for us so technology gives you that opportunity once you are and once you use one you want to use another one you want to discover more you want to discover more um, with technology also you can share your lesson presentation with your students and with your teachers without any limitation imagine you are a supervisor of a class and you need to see a teacher's lesson uh, plan you don't need to collect the hard copy from him just tell him to share it with you either it's on google docs or it's on microsoft uh, microsoft word you can just share while he's still having his lesson plan in his hand teaching in the classroom and you are making assessments to it there and then you can send your lesson to your students and then you see their own too they can submit their essay without uh, you having a stack of books or paper in front of you and um, digitized lesson plan too of course i've said can 
um, help personalized learning experience for students. Um, one of the things that I think is missing here, yes, is the fact that um, you can also monetize it. As a teacher, when you digitize your class, you can monetize it. You can have it as a PDF, upload it on Seller or Amazon and sell. You can write a book out of this. I am many people buy hard copies these days. Now you can have a, an ebook out of this. You can create a video and put it there and people will just click some of my product online. You just click on it and then I just see a lot sometimes. I, oh, fantastic. And then that's the story of some teachers in Lagos and even across the country. So if you don't want to be an exception, you can take advantage of this. Digitizing your lesson plan also can give you visibility. Where, for instance, what I do all the time, once in a week, at least once in a week, I come out, I dance, and I put my lesson there. Do and my, I mean, some of you that have seen me must have seen that. That's pre lesson presentation in my own way. I know a teacher who will talk, the teacher Shade, and today now she has about 30,000 followers. The name I mentioned earlier, Olale Kon Adieko, is another good teacher that will just sit down, use Yoruba language to teach ICT. I mean, you want to do, you want to gain visibility. And what's the advantage of being visible? I'm going to use an example of a teacher that started working on her visibility consciously, Kemi Ogusoya. Um, two, three weeks ago, she emerged as runner-up of um, Inspirational Educator Award. One thing that worked out for that lady is the fact that she was and she is always visible. So you may want to use your lesson as a teacher to bring you forth, to, to be visible all the time. You know how to teach biology in a very unique way that students will not forget. Come on. You are limiting yourself by staying with those first, um, um, those first students in your classroom. You can explain chemistry in such a way that, yes, students can never forget. Come on. You can do more by digitizing it and not just for your students alone now, but for the entire world. You want to be a global teacher, you don't need to be I'm giving the award alone. Once you are just present there, you are there. You want to check up on this guy, Isom Nofu, online math. He started in 2000, towards the end of lockdown. By the time, in the space of six months or less, he had already gotten about 10,000 followers on YouTube and he's making his school money. Do you know what visibility did for him? An organization that could pay him more than 10 times of his salary saw him and then asked him to come over. Took good care of him and today now, it's not just an ordinary teacher any pretense anymore because he put himself out there. So digitizing your lesson and putting it on social media can make you a star teacher. And so I've been able to blend this together now. Can make you a star teacher even without winning award. You can just be out there and be shining there. So let's see some things that we can do. How to digitize our presentations. One, you can use software. I'm going to show us that one. You can use a... Um, PowerPoint and um, Google Slide for this. You can also create video animations around this. Some of you can use Render Forest and there are a lot of websites and a lot of um, tech tools. You can check the link at the end of this um, video or um, the slide, as I said, to be shared with you. You can use some interactive website that can make your work very fantastic there. And um, if your school can afford it, then take advantage of virtual reality and augmented reality there. So what are the lessons, examples? Of course, solar system, you can put it in a video form. You can check a website where you can have a um, water cycle. I love biology law, so um, forgive me if I'm talking about science, even I'm an arts um, teacher. You can have a virtual tour of human body. I mean, just download a video, like add it to your work and then your classroom is just there. You can travel from your classroom to anywhere in the world without leaving. That is what digitalization can do for you so i don't want to end my video now let me stop it here then i'll come back to this for questions but let me quickly show us a practical way of so this is not the end now i i jumped this so a practical way of create i mean a very fast way of creating um a digital lesson a digital lesson presentation a very fast way you will see that now but before we go into that I want us to pause this video now and let's do a form of reflection. Let's do a form of reflection. You can pause the video now and do a form of reflection. I want a reflection. Ask your colleague beside you now. I mean, just let's take about five minutes to do that now. Um, ask him or her what, the, what are the challenges that he or she think he will face or he has been facing in creating um, a digitized lesson presentation. Ask. Let's take two minutes to do the asking, okay, or the talking. I mean, just here, two minutes, two, that's four minutes. 
and in the last minute use it to um, take suggestion anyhow you want to do it you, you you ask and then you try and provide a solution then after that let's continue with the video i'm going into another space where we can create a practical and a very fast one amazing one thank you we're going to go into some i think of the practical side of it now yes i don't want to end this now i want us to look at practical let's let's look at how we can use artificial intelligence to create digital lesson plan turn it into video immediately and then still um then of course decide to know to post it either you want to post on youtube or you want to post it on facebook so uh that's just that i promise you i'm going to share the slide with you we don't really have much there and this video is always available anyway but in this slide there is a link in the last slide that you want to see there are a lot of other ed tech tools that i have not i may not be talking about here so let's move on to the practical side of this now. Um, so I'm going to this, okay. Um, I've done a lot, so I'm going to close all. The, oh, okay. Mm, these were the things I had created earlier and I lost the whole video. It happens. Okay, let me just leave this one there. So let's see how to use AI first. Let's see how to start. I mean, for instance, some of us complain that hey, how do we, you don't know how to use Microsoft Word? You don't know how to use PowerPoint. Don't worry. I have you covered today. So let, let's the popular AI. ChatGPT, many of us are aware of it. So let's just see how we can use that one. You can go to chat. How do you get that? Oh. Okay, wow. Well. All right. You go to chat dot open ai dot com i'm going to take it slowly again just go to chat dot open ai dot com okay and search click it of course if you don't have an account which i believe you, some of us may not have you may want to create one just use your um, google just go to sign up you see sign up there this is my own account already i've done so many things except with my lesson plans and the rest so you want to just do that so once you do this, you see this interface. Now, unless you want to create a lesson, um, let me change my lesson to economics now. I want to do something on uh, which population. You no, know, what was that thing that we did in school in economics? It's this very popular topic, you know, population production. All right, pop production. I want to ask AI to help me now. Okay, um, I talk to my AI as if I'm talking to a friend or a superior at times. Kindly. All right, so moving on. So we say kindly um, give me uh, a lesson presentation on the topic production in economics. If that I can use for a video a video lesson let me just a video lesson <coughs> so let's see what this guy will do amazingly you can see now it will just create it for you of course you must be you know all this before you are a teacher you taught this and you don't want to go through the stress you are wondering how to do this you we have you covered already see the artificial intelligence will just bring it down for you and then you can decide i mean this is going beyond what i want you can stop it you can see stop generating is there but let's just finish his work okay thank you for watching this i mean it has done everything for you so let's just go over it again the only challenge i have is how to copy my work from this guy okay this is delete i don't want to delete it at all. all right so you can see it's telling us what to put in slide one how to create your video i mean it will just help you do that effectively how to create your video there so it's just there for you so you want to copy this now you want to copy this now i think that's the title right let me just see if I can copy the first three because of time. 
and um, the challenge of copying down. If I drag it down now, it will. So at times you copy in bits, and then you go to your online account of Word. This is I use Microsoft a lot. You can try Google. I've not tried this. It's with Google online account of Word. If you go to word.office.com, I say it again: word.office.com. Go to okay. Let me just go into this account here now. Then go to file. It will open like this. Just um, click anyone. You see it here. And then go to file. Go to blank. Okay, a new one. Or you see a blank there. Just click on blank. You may not need to get to this point. Just service not available. Why? The devil is a liar. Oh yeah. They are not smarter. Hope you are praying with me. Okay, don't worry. Um, I'm doing this very early in the morning and um, there will always be a way out. So I would rather lose a document. So when you open it, for whatever reason, so let me wipe this away, what I have here currently. So you have a blank space. You have a blank space. And then what you copy, remember you copy something, you want to paste it here. It's already pasted here now. So we are, remember we are creating digitized lesson presentation so you have your presentation already in three slides so what do you do you can do a voice over over this one as it is use your screen i'm going to show you that one when we get back to powerpoint but you want to turn this to powerpoint now this word now can be turned to powerpoint come to your right hand side and click on this on your right hand side and then you see export remember we are using web version this is not your desktop version this is not a desktop version, this is web version. Click on export. I believe it's not too fast for you. And then export to PowerPoint. As long as you click export to PowerPoint, it will give you different templates and themes. See, there are different thematic now, different ones you want to use. You can ask for more themes, okay, in case you are not comfortable with what you have. Or you are like me, Oliver Twist. Don't worry, you will enjoy it okay okay maybe i'm cool here i select this one and i click on exports okay so i'm going to while i'm waiting for it to export okay it has opened but let me quickly go over it again orally um without showing you the picture go to chat gpt okay sign up or sign in depending on your situation just ask it to give you a pleasant presentation of what you want in your mind of course you know it already but it can help you streamline it copy it adjust Microsoft Word web version. Okay, how to access web version? Go to word.office.com. Maybe Google can equally help you with this too. I'm not sure. Okay, once you do that, go to file under file, turn it to see export to PowerPoint. Click on export, you see export to PowerPoint. Then to give it like this, then our presentation is ready. You say yay, presentation is ready. All right, so open presentation. So it will open into the web version of PowerPoint web version of PowerPoint. Now there are so many other AI tools that you can you can see my three slides are ready. The title, production in economics, understanding the basic. So you can edit it and delete title. I don't want title to be there. Let's say this next slide. Okay, you want to give it title now. Okay, it's saying you know I didn't copy everything. Now beside it, if we are using the web version of PowerPoint. There are other templates suggestions to give you. We call it designer. You want to select anyone. Okay. Remember, this is not a typical um, class. I'm not an economics teacher, but I just feel maybe there's an economics teacher in the house or there's someone different. No, I shouldn't be. Okay. You want to adjust. You want to edit. You click on it. You edit properly. You are done with all this. Now, I don't. I wouldn't advise us to to continue online. Probably because of data, you just want to quickly download it. So go to file again and click on save as. Once you click on save as, you see download a copy. Download a copy, your copy is ready, then you download it. Okay, so it's ready here. So you click on it and then to open into a version, then you uh, click enable editing there your powerpoint is ready depending on your situation 
the PowerPoint is ready. So what do we do next? You want to export it into a video. You want to do it into a video now, or you want to speak over it just the way I am doing mine. So it's very simple. Uh, okay, I still I'm still good within time. So you have you can check, you can edit it here also. Anything you want to do, you can edit it's very simple to edit. So you can save it into PDF and start sharing if that's what you want to do okay now you want to turn into video you want to speak over it you can go to record okay on your depending on the version of powerpoint that you are using now okay you can go to record or look for it around no just because i'm already recording so i don't want to touch anything that would make my video disappear again you won't believe it this is my third video all right, don't pity me, don't worry. I enjoy doing it all the time like that. All right, so move on, then you can click on beginning. So where you want to record, okay, and then do this. Because I am already, I don't want to, if I turn on my camera now here, okay, I've already crossed it down up here rather. If I turn it on, you will see me, I don't want you to see me. Mm, don't worry, you, you've seen me earlier, right? So don't see me again now. At the end of this video, you may see me again. All right, and this is record, you record it. As soon as you click record, it will give you three, two, one. I don't want to do that because we interrupt what I'm doing currently. And then from one slide to another, there are um, pens that you can use. There is um, a laser pointer. Uh, if you click on laser pointer, for instance, now you can use it for direction, just like pointer, uh, presenter pointer or clicker that we have. Okay. In case you want to edit, and then you have, you want, you can click on your pen and then click on the type of color you want and then write on it and then you can use your eraser just click on it your eraser will clean it for you you can do you can have different views okay you can have presenter view you can have tele any form of view that you want this i'm in a presenter view now you can have teleprompter see what teleprompter will do what you're going to be saying will be here okay i don't like teleprompter because it makes my work small okay um, so you want to try your hand around here, but remember the version I'm using may be different from yours So you want to upgrade go and get office 2019 or 2020 office 365 You will enjoy all this. Remember if you are going to be digitizing your lesson plan you need to also have updated um, Softwares too. You cannot be in 2007 and you want to be a star teacher. All right, so I'm going to close this one because it's not what I am doing okay let me go back to my presentation now so once you do that one it will export it into video for you then you can have your video edited the way you want and then where do you put your video so let's talk about that quickly now in the few minutes i'm still within um, my time you can use the put a video on facebook where you change your facebook account into a content creator uh, I may not be able to show you that one because I'm going to be exposing my own account. But you want to check it around, check setting and the rest. You can change it into. Even there will be suggestions that sometimes, in case you have not done that, you will be a, a, a content creator. Then you can be now. You can post as a form of reel if it's around one minute, or you can post as a full video where people can watch. Of course, as they watch, the more you post. Now, well, this is how it works now on Facebook. The more you post, the more Facebooks give you. Facebook give, gives you. Um, visibility if you can post like two in a day of course you want to be a star teacher you remember you get visible you get visible and that's where you are i i have an example of a fantastic teacher in lagos um i'll mention her name kemi ogunsoya when i met kemi when i knew kemi i think i she started putting her story on social media now she wasn't doing lesson presentation i, I can't remember whether she ever taught anything online but she had her own presence in such a way that she would talk about what she's doing in the classroom in a unique thing she's doing in the classroom and she was consistent with this building her presence now she's one of the star teachers that we have in nigeria now and i want to believe across the world too because once you are popular on social media of course you have no limit to where you are going there's another teacher i think i've already mentioned his name it's also not for online math is the most followed teacher on facebook currently has you know over 500 followers now on facebook he started shortly towards the end of lockdown 
and this boy at times in the day could post four videos on youtube post four on facebook you kept on posting like that today now is a is is when it comes to mathematics now this guy is solving mathematics everywhere you will see him you can check these are the people you want to learn from anyway and i think i've always also mentioned olali kong adieko also and he started his own series um, this um technology in yoruba language anything data sometimes november last year sometimes november last year and today now he has over twenty thousand followers now you're asking me why do i need followers i don't like facebook village people will follow me see village people are not on facebook i must tell you the truth they don't have your time anymore they are busy eating their sacrifices so leave them alone create your own visibility as a teacher you cannot be a star teacher you cannot be a 24th century teacher and you don't know how to maximize your social media handle then go to linkedin put your professional lessons this one that you just did now put it there a teacher will learn from you and pick it and post it i was in okay i think i was when i went to india a teacher saw my video a, a, a kenyan teacher now saw my video i mean after hearing when i did my presentation my introduction he went to my youtube and picked my video he said so come me they, i mean all they call me all they all this is the the lesson i have been looking for how to teach my students i will not even teach them i'll just download your video like this and play it in the class for them yeah so if you, they are calling you a global teacher you are not just a global teacher just for being global sake anyway you are a global teacher because you are giving value out there so you want to do that now another aspect that i'm going to encourage you to use as a star teacher there's no way i can teach that one here is maximizing your reels especially your tiktok account you're like oh, all these gen z's have already covered the, the tiktok and you millennia you need to go and show them how to do things in the right way so create your lesson some of us in my own case i prefer to just look for any local song or any popular song listen to it and that's when you need to be creative too as a star teacher you need to be creative i don't want to i'm i'm careful not to repeat some of the things you must have heard uh, creativity critical thinking all those things anyway but you need to put this into practice now you need to be creative like my own case as a, as a, as a as an english language teacher i remember growing up we used to listen to barista let me um we call him barista barista uh, that musician we call him barista then he's not a lawyer but a barista <laughs> sorry i say barista but it's called barista you know the person i'm talking about so I remember them, some of you must have seen the video before where he sang garbage, and then he used garbage, cabbage, and the rest, like that. I remember my elder brother then was the first person that explained what that thing was. I hope he's in the house too today. I learned that he's going to be here. Um, cabbage, he was the one that, he, he said it when he was, while he was, we were, we were very young then, we were listening to the music together. Then he said cabbage, garbage. One day I was just sitting down, I mean, years after, years, years after, that last should be more than, close to 30 years now, we are not young anymore. And then I remember that he mentioned cabbage garbage. Then I went back to the video again, I said, I can dance and bring out cabbage garbage and baggage. Let people see the different spellings. And that gave me a whole lot of visibility on TikTok. And in a space of how many days, I had close to 15,000 um, views. My visibility had really gone down, but with that one, it that creativity. So as soon as I got that one, it became something I want to be doing all the time. Okay, let me listen to Sonia Adi. What song has he said? What word of English language can I bring out of it? Even though it's in Yoruba language, let me see if I can twist it. So I just put my presence out there. You may want to also go to on TikTok too. No, don't. I'm not, I'm not saying you should go and dance, please. I don't know how to dance. I just manage to dance too. Your own may be different. Maybe you, you have, to, you have uh, an experiment, a unique experiment you want to do with biology, with home economics, something, a unique way of teaching a subject. Bring it out. There are a lot of talented teachers, a lot of star teachers out there that are just keeping quiet in one corner. No, I am all these Facebook people. We are not Facebook people. Facebook did not give it to anybody. We are just taking advantage of what is there. And there is no way you will have one person, two people saying, wow, wonderful lesson. Great. Thank you. That you will not be encouraged to do more later. So you want to do that. You want to encourage people. So I'm going to um, stop here because this is a video. This is, I'm not physically present and come to this presentation and then wait for question i don't we've already done the powerpoint thing i'm trying to see whether i promise to show you towards one or two things again i think i've, I've gone around that so let me go back to my presentation i'm careful oh god
Alright. You have already seen the secrets of some of the things I did now, and I didn't I plan to show you. Okay. Well. Alright. So, in case you have any question at this point, thank you so much for listening. So, this particular app here, this app here now, um, sorry, this link in this presentation, if you go there, you are going to see a whole lot, a whole lot of uh, tech tools that you can use to create your lessons, to create lessons and throw it there. So finally here, where do you keep your work? Why do you need to put your work on Facebook? One visibility I've said so, you can monetize it. Facebook, uh, YouTube is paying. If you cannot go to 1000 followers, of course, Rome was never was not built in a day. You have up to 1000 followers, which is possible if you are very consistent, which is possible. It's enough got to 1000 followers in about two, three months by just being consistent there. Of course, you are going to spend your data. Of course, sure. And then, and you have about 4,000 watch time views. How do you do it? Make short, short videos that people want to watch and finish. Gen Z's don't want to concentrate too much. Beyond two minutes, they are tired. They want to scroll to the next thing. So make your videos very short and then put it there. One day, you just get a message in your mail that you should go and monetize your um, YouTube account because some dollars will be dropping very soon. That may not be the case with you. Somebody may just see your work and be like, wow, you are doing fantastically well. Let me, uh, can you come and work for us? That's the case of Isum Nofu. Some, from someone who was earning 40,000 Naira as a teacher in Anambra. I mean, what is collecting now is more than times 10 of that. I don't want to say, of course, I've said it now anyway, but it's more than times 10 of the salary. But it's not the money YouTube was paying. Somebody, one person just saw his video and he felt, okay, come and work for our organization and education um, technology organization like that you can come and work for us and that's it i have a friend now today um olali kwanti eko his video probably just twenty thousand people twenty thousand people following him but because of what he's doing people are contacting him all over the world asking please can you help us do this excel assignment can you help us do that can you help us do this and he's making his cool money there i know someone just because she's putting herself out there she's giving invitation getting invitation every week to talk in different schools of course you're not going to go and do it free of charge some cases of honorarium some cases where you tell them okay this is how much i trade i've gone to different states in this country and of course i'm not i won't come back with small amount of money of course you'll be you will just and that's when you become a star teacher but if you are not visible you are brilliant i know you are intelligent you are the best teacher in that school congratulations god bless you for what you are doing but you are not putting yourself out there, nobody will know you. But you don't want to put yourself out there by celebrating your birthday alone. You want to give value also. And we have looked at that today. So I'm going to end it here. Um, thank you so much for being teachers. You are highly celebrated. 